Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to Greg Tag. Buddha's mooning the camera. I am, and it's wonderful. As you can see, we've actually obtained some nether ward. Uh, we went back into the nether, had a look through the forest, and decided... Or, had a, the, for, the forest? The nether forest, yeah. The nether fortress. And found some nether ward rather rapidly in the chest, so... Um, we have that growing now. Which means that we can make fermented booze. Yes. yes. Yes, all the fermented booze. Alright, so I'll grab a couple of bottles here. Let's get some hopped ale here. Uh, how do you actually we do actually it? have... Get it out of the cauldron. Is that... Uh, no, that's, that's, yeah, not, that's not fermented. Oh, no, it's not fermented. It's hopped, though. Alright, here. Have some ale. Oh, is this the good stuff? It is, it is the good stuff. 70% chance of tipsy haste. Alright, it's ready? not extended. Wait, don't drink yet, don't drink yet. I, I've drunk, oh. I've drink, drinking it. It gives mining haste. Which is good actually... thing we're going to be doing so much mining today. Well, good thing we have more bottles of it. How, how much? I, I took three bottles out of that. How much has it actually drained it? Oh. I don't know which one you took. It, it takes quite a bit. Three, 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 three bottles is a bucket. So that's Makes actually sense. not bad. And it's also, like, it filled me up pretty well. Like, uh, I was uh, a shank and a half down. It seemed to have filled me up all right. All right. Look, so egg. there's actually some food properties to it. Yeah. And I don't know what the, the tipsy like, the, does, the tipsy, I don't know what the tipsy does either. I think if you keep drinking, you, you end up getting, you know, nauseous. But, um, yeah. I, I don't think You've there's anything drunk. else to it. But uh, the mining haze, you know, that that's actually going to be nice. So, yes. Buddha, Holy in crap, my inventory, Jerry. what? I just what? thought of something pretty cool. Yeah? We can take one of these mirrors with us when we when we do mine, and set the other one over like a series of hoppers, and then when our inventory's full, we can just throw the crap through. Yeah, but only if this chunk is loaded. Even if it's not, when we get back, it'll all pop through. Uh, nope. Not necessarily. No. Oh. We'd need, um, well, at least I'd be more comfortable if we had the chunk loaded. Right. Huh. You, but anyway. the thing is, um, while your voice does seem to be lagging just a wee bit right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're getting Frontier at the moment we start recording. It's been fine all evening, and now the moment we start recording, Frontier kicks in. Anyway, um, you can actually make a hand mirror. That allows you to just, uh, you know, send stuff directly from your inventory. Oh. Um, it's sort of a... Nice. Yeah, magical hand mirror. Personal reflection. You can just purchase it. Huh. Uh, through the Thomonomicon. Where's my Thomonomicon? So that's actually not... I don't you know. even see it. Well, go find the artifice and then find the magic mirror and then look on the bottom right of it. Oh, there it is. Magical hand mirror. And I got the Essentia mirrors. Yeah, the Essentia Time mirrors could be useful. Could be really useful, actually. Um, basically, I think what the Essentia mirror does is we can... Um, like, if we have a lamp of growth or something, we can just um, basically put one mirror next to the lamp of growth and then have another one near our Essentia production and we don't have to, you know, actually transport the Essentia that needs to fuel it to where it is. Oh, okay. So that's pretty convenient. Um, do you so, want to sleep? You 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 you, you sleep. Um, yeah, I need to sleep off this alcohol. You need to sleep your lag out. And then um, yeah. I think we should do something with all this shit I have in my inventory. Yeah, so, you uh you had a plan for us, so. I had a plan. Yes, I'm just quickly gonna grab this and then let's go. So I've been making a bunch of golems that. Um, the plan was to uh, follow you guys' advice, actually, and make a fully automatic uh, wood farm with it. So instead of us having to, you know, waste endless amount of resources making new axes and cutting down trees and replanting them and such, we're going to make it fully automatic using the magic of Farmcraft Golems. Hooray! So the first step to this is... Yeah, let's let's go from the back here, so but if you want to move a bit. So we have... Uh, not this guy, actually. I want this guy first. So this guy, Stone Golem, he will get the Gather Core. And he will also get the Water Upgrade, so he can see far. 
So what this guy will do now is he'll take any items nearby and drop them right into this chest. That was a well-placed uh, show-off. Yeah, Here, exactly. have an apple. I don't want an apple. Here, you can, <laughs> you can have it. Uh, he doesn't want an apple. He can't even eat it. <laughs> um, and then the next step is to get this wooden golem here. So I'm going to put him on the back side of the chest and give him the use core. Now, what I think I can do with this guy is right click, right click, not sneaking. Uh, and I want him to use it on a block and I want him to use this item. And if I take this and then click, let's see, there and put these in the chest. Then he should take it from the chest and plant. Ah, look at that. You should have put it like here. Well, the thing is, we want the we want all the stuff uh, falling down from them to fall within the area. Oh, Plus, okay. besides so right this, here this besides this, will actually le you know leave um, quite a bit of space. So we well, can actually. You hit five on that one. Nope. No. Oh, okay. Basically, I, I, if if you take this boot and hold it. Oh. And you can see exactly what I've hit. Oh. That's so you... neat. Oh wait, throw that back down. Why? I want to scans it. That's probably a good idea, actually. Oh, it's just too old. Oh wow, it's... Oh, he's stealing <laughs> it. He's stealing it. <laughs> oh, he, they're becoming sentient. <laughs> you bastard. We will... Okay, and finally, we have this guy. And he will get this animation core. And now, what this guy will do is, Master he hate, he hates wood. He really hates wood. Buddha, <laughs> come out what? again. Uh, bring some bricks, will you? When you come out again. Bring some bricks? Yeah. Bring some bricks. Bring bricks. I mean bricks. Brick blocks. Okay. Because we might have an issue. <laughs> You remember how oh. we put wood underneath the chest? <laughs> <laughs> I do, actually. So now we gotta uh, wait for this guy to actually go and plant. <laughs> or we can... Yeah, well, he should, he should plant any moment now. So we can have a look at this guy cutting down. So basically, the way that I made the, the core here used an axe of the stream. And that's basically the method that he's using to cut down the tree. Um, so it takes whatever block is the furthest from him as he's cutting down. Um, but unlike, you know, the exit to stream, this guy doesn't use durability. He just works. Hooray. So now this guy should take these and go plant. Look at this beautiful work. And these guys are doing an amazing job but already. Who was it that suggested this? Um, it was... I can actually check it here because I yeah, have been a bit let's do that. I think we owe him some a debt, really. Yeah, that's just the it's a bit him or her, I should say. Back in time here. Um yeah, he blah, doesn't want to get blah. the stuff that's over here now. Going, yeah, I'm scrolling through the comments, scrolling through comments and trying to see. It's actually been a bit of time. We should have thought uh, of this before. We should, we really should have, yeah. Borsuk B, five days ago, use use uh, Formcraft golems for wood. That was one suggestion. Uh, Appculator A also suggested highly recommending using a wood chopping golem for the basis of automated power. Um, so yeah, to to, to the two of you, um, I think most actually to Appculator A because he explained the whole point about the. Um, um, the planting thing. So, very good comment there. And yeah, as you can see, we listen. Now, this is actually so pretty amazing. Should we like put a sign on that? The well, do we have a sign? I don't know. Well, we should have enough wood to make a sign, surely. <laughs> well, I would assume so. But yeah, the next the next really. step would be for us to um, you know 
get the wood into um, a number of coke ovens. And what we could actually do is we could um, have, you know, make a basement to this uh, wood farm here, where we basically stuff, you know, nine coke ovens down. But what, what wouldn't that be like pretty cool? That would be pretty cool. Just have a basement, then put nine coke ovens down here, and then use again, maybe use golems to actually, um, you know, f fill them with um, with wood. Basically, we 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 would need two golems to do it. We would need one of them to um, basically fill a chest with charcoal, specifically from the coke oven. So he would be linked. He would be placed on a chest with the fill core, and then he would be linked to all of the uh, coke ovens. And basically his job would be to fill the chest with charcoal. And then we would have another one to um, empty this chest here of wood, and fill it into the... Um, fill it into the, all, all of the uh, coke ovens. So basically empty, take all the wood from this chest that he could, and then put it in the coke ovens. All right. And basically, with with the, the way golems work is that you kind of need to, you know, if you want a lot of things filled, then you can either, you know, have one thing, or have nine things. Like if you have nine things you want filled, you can either have nine golems each filling one, or you can have one golem emptying the chest that feeds them all. So you know, if you kind of if you flip flip it around from the the most logical um, first thought, you can actually ha have something that's r really efficient. Hmm. So basically, if we hey, need Jerry. to so if we need to dis distribute this wood to different places, it would be easier to tell them to empty this chest, and it would be to you know fill all the different chests that we want filled. What What do you think would happen if we planted a uh, great wood tree? Um, it would take a long time for him to cut it down. That's what I think would happen. Yeah, I'm just I'm looking at those over there, and then I'm yeah. looking at this area. And just thinking, there is no way. Well, if it, it was if it was planted right in the center, it would fit in nicely. Oh yeah. But um, like, it's not as, as, as we just saw a hero with a sapling already. You know, even these oak, dark oak trees, we planted them so close to the center to have all the stuff drop inside, and even then, they still managed to put a sapling outside the fence. <laughs> hmm. But um, if we could get, still works you know, better than millionaire. <laughs> Still works better in the middle there, yeah. Um, but yeah, like the the stone golem is currently set to pick up everything, so he's picking up every piece of wood that comes in here. The uh, this guy is set to only plant dark oak saplings, and this guy has no interface to fiddle with. He's just angry at all wood. He's just angry at wood, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he doesn't, he really doesn't like wood. I'm well, glad he doesn't reach out to these. Well, they're outside his range. Basically, he can only see like six blocks or so. Oh, okay. Which is another reason why we couldn't have these much further out. Fair point. Unless we give him a water upgrade, but I'd rather give him a nerf upgrade so he cuts down faster. So I'm actually going to make one of those, I think. Show us how it's done. Well, show them. Show them. <laughs> you, you know already. You, you made the I water just... one for the, uh, for the picky, picker up gun. Picker up guy. I did indeed. So I need eight golden nuggets and I need an earth shard. Shard! And then, so let's see if Buddha's wand here has some charge in it still. Well, that's not mine. Or unless it's my shitty old one. Yeah, the shitty old one. I, I, I also have a shitty old one. Um, but yeah, it, it had enough, enough charge at least. But I think, Buddha, we need to uh, get some... We, we should probably get, you know, another... Actually, there is something in Formcraft called a crafting scepter. Oh, look at this. He spotted something out here. All right, so this guy, the pick pickup guy, can actually see very far because he spotted something over here where you cut down the tree. Nice. So he can see really far. So a water upgrade for the iron golem is a bad idea. Yeah. But the, you know, I just gave him the earth upgrade. Holy shit, that helped. Have you seen how quickly it jumps down now? Kinda. Well, he stopped, but... Come on. For some reason, he stopped. Cutting down. 
it's uninteresting and to him now. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, getting... it's, it's, it's just about doubled his speed. Yeah. So that was well worth it. Um, the uh, stone golem, we could... He has the water upgrade already. Um, and the wood golem would make no sense to upgrade unless we gave him more speed, I reckon. But even speed then, would... he's, fa he's fast enough. He, he can carry enough. Like, he can carry four things at a time. Which is exactly what he needs to. The uh, stone golem could use a speed upgrade. Yeah, but he can only accept one upgrade, if I recall correctly. Oh. Um, Golemancy, stone site. golems, yeah. Only one upgrade on him. Um, so we'd either need an iron golem for picking up or something. Well, what we could do, um, if we want him to go Have faster, two. I think it might be the tiny hat or the tiny bow tie. That makes them go faster. Yeah, the tiny bow tie makes them w move faster. Okay. So we'll, so we'll need four black wool and a piece of string. I'm on it. I don't know I if there is a recipe. Up good. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Go well, the the the. It's a really good question, actually, if we have any string or whether we need to macerate some wool. Well, I just gathered, like, a stack of wool, so... Yeah, I put I'll, I'll, I'll put a piece of wool in the macerator here. Um, now, is there any good good ways to dye wool? Can we dye eight at a time? Or can we only dye one at a time? We should be able to dye eight at a time. Just put eight in a circle and then put something in the middle. Yeah. Nope. No? Nope. Uh, hold on, let me just quickly see... I'm just going to quickly find a recipe for black wool. Chemical bath uses squid ink, one ingot full, shapeless crafting, no, one at a time, so you have to use four ink sacks. What a shame. Oh, you gave me, you got it all for me already, okay. So if I do this, 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 and then I'll need a wand with a bit of charge in. And there we go, accessory, tiny bow tie. So Buddha, uh, if you want to sleep so we can actually see outside and then... Yeah, let me uh, come up there before you put it on him though. Yeah. Like these these tiny accessories are so amazing and oh. they look absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm gonna I, bring I, really, I really like the tiny fez as well, but... Um, like the, 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 the tiny goggles increase their vision range uh, by one block. So it's not quite as good as the, the actual upgrade, but it's still, you know, it allows you to squeak your goggles just a wee bit. Just enough, you know, to sometimes fill in. Plus, they look snazzy. They look really snazzy. Okay, go ahead. So, the stone golem is there. Oh, look at that. Oh, is there anything we can give him to actually make him pick up more? Um, well, that, for that we would need an earth upgrade. Oh, okay. Um, there are... Like there is the forbidden knowledge, advanced golem, but that's a, that's taboo. But that would get, basically give him one more upgrade slot, as well as increase his range and uh, speed. And then there's the other option of using a flesh golem instead, because they can take two upgrades. We can also use a formium go golem instead. I think they can also do two, but I haven't researched those yet. Gotcha. I'm, just, I'm just gonna buy the rest of these tiny upgrades and then see. So the tiny fess allows them to heal quicker, the tiny spectacles allows them to see a bit more, and the tiny hat gives them more health and vitality, so so that might actually also be strength. Let's give him a... Let, let's make a top hat for him. I'll need what do another, we need? I'll need another four black wool. <laughs> and I'm guessing it's in, like, a uh, upside-down Tetris shape. It's in an upside-down T with a space in the middle for a gold ingot, yeah. I wasn't completely wrong. Yeah, I think that's what I like best about this uh, series. What? We're just playing oh, a over game. Over here, on the right. So, uh, there. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm going to need my big one for this. I can't see it because there we go. Yeah. I don't know the... Um, go read my phone number card. Alright, so, 
let's put a top hat. So he has, he will have a top hat and bow tie. He will be the most posh golem that the world has ever seen. And the reason we did this is because he's stone and he's already self-conscious about that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Look at him go! Look at that oh. handsome gentleman! Look at you, you sir, you sir, are snazzy. I hope you. Oh, look at his little belly button ring. Yeah. <laughs> Please make him your thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, like, um, yeah, I, 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 sh I. Off! You don't deserve the pedestal. <laughs> look at him, the ringleader. He is. He looks amazing. We're about to see him in action too. Let's yeah, have see you seen how much wood they've gathered for us already? Without us uh, having to, like that's. Oh my god. That's uh, that's about an iron axe worth of uh, durability already. And all we've been doing is uh, pissing around. What the hell has he spotted over here that he could pick up? I wonder. There isn't anything to pick up over here, unless there's a chicken laying an egg somewhere. I just saw the the pick up guy go over here to see. Yeah, I saw that. I'm not see unless he can see it. Maybe here. there's a, maybe there's a chicken in the cave underneath. Oh, that could be. That's very well plausible. But I I like I we could we could One really just stand died. stand here and watch these guys work. <laughs> One of our cows died. Really? Yeah, I've got his remains right here. Oh. And he's just throwing them on the ground. Well, I was throwing it at you, but um. Yeah, well, they are a bit crammed in here. I think we need to redo this to be more of a free-range farm. Maybe just have this as the breeding center. Because we've got this whole open area over here. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's it's hard to, to judge because, you know, um, animals, while they're necessary, they aren't... They were never really well implemented, were they? Like Not they're, they're the necessary, but the, you know the fact that they can't breed by themselves. You know what we should do? A fucking golem. Um, <laughs> no, we should basically we should take these gen gates we have here, and put in the doorways, and then just put a gather golem in the middle along with the railcraft um, feeding station. Oh. And just fill that full of all the food they need, and just have them breed ma ma uh, madly. And then when they when they suffocate in the walls, the um, the golem will pick up the the remains. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible, but it's that's but awful. but I like that's it. That's awful. It's that's concentration awful, camp worthy. It exactly, really but, is. but I like it. <laughs> oh Jesus.